Okay, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to get Bitcoin and use it. And we'll be touching on a couple of things that we had already previously discussed in the last video, but we'll just go into it a little bit more in depth. And I'll just show you a couple of the platforms, some of the you know exchanges and wallets that you can use in order to actually get Bitcoins and start using it. So like we already talked about, the wallet is likened to a bank account and that allows us to move Bitcoin to Bitcoin between wallets. So that's how we send Bitcoins to other users, to merchants, and that's also how we receive Bitcoins uh, within this wallet, so within this bank account. So from one you know, Bitcoin bank account, if you will, to another Bitcoin bank account. That's how we move money. Next is the exchange, and so the exchange is from uh, to and from your local currency, and this First step here is very, very simple. You can have a wallet and start accepting payments within minutes, very, very fast to get a wallet, really, really easy. Um, many of them you don't even need to submit your identification in order to get a wallet because, you know, like I said, it's very private and you can start just moving money around with Bitcoins. If, however, you would like to exchange money, then this is slightly different in my experience anyway. And I'm not an expert on Bitcoin, okay? I just uh, have been using it for you know, a little while now and I'm starting to get my head around it and I'm using it the way that I outlined in the last video as a payment processor. And so uh, the exchange to and from your local currency tends to have more regulation around it because often it is tied to a local currency. They're going to be subject to you know more auditing and, and uh, more regulations based on that because they're using government currencies there. And so uh, the exchange, typically you'll need to submit your ID and get set up like that. And I'll show you that in the other videos. But the, the thing about this, is because of the local currency and because of the different laws around the world, uh, different governments having different rules about Bitcoin and how you can use it and how you can get it. Uh, what that means is that the exchanges are different for many people. So often the exchange in order to get to and from your local currency will be a different platform from one person to the next. Not always, of course, but for different countries, some businesses will offer um, you know certain countries and some businesses will offer different countries to that uh, and they won't you know some will be exempt from other different countries and things like that and so different people um, there's no just one hey get this Bitcoin wallet because sometimes you'll need to find one that actually suits um, your your local currency and so I just want to I just misspoke there what I want to say is you know it's not just a blanket statement for hey get a Bitcoin exchange, okay? You can get a Bitcoin wallet in any country, um, but the Bitcoin exchange sometimes will be a different, different for different people. So that said, many of the exchanges offer the wallet and the exchange, okay? So when you uh, get a an exchange, okay, then it will also have a wallet attached, just like I gave you a brief demonstration of my CoinJar account, meaning that it's all in one. I can get my Australian dollars, exchange them into Bitcoins, and then use those Bitcoins, sending Bitcoin to Bitcoin from my Bitcoin wallet, okay, all on the one platform. And so we're going to go through a couple of the recommendations. The first and foremost one that I that I really want to recommend is blockchain. This is uh, and you can see you just come to blockchain.com. I'm not going to leave any affiliate links here. Some of these businesses offer like minor affiliate rewards. The only one that I will leave a link for is the Australian one. And that's because if you use the link, that actually helps you and you get and you get a benefit out of it. So <clears throat> that said, um, blockchain is a wallet. And so I use blockchain as a wallet only. It's not an exchange. So you can go ahead right now, head across to blockchain.com and create a free Bitcoin wallet. Okay. This is a really easy way um, just to start getting Bitcoins to have a Bitcoin address. It takes five minutes to set this up. A couple of quick things I just want to say about this Bitcoin uh, blockchain is that you know, this is designed to be very private. It's designed to be very, you know, safe. And so um, some of the, the typical things that you might see uh, when in, in the financial world, like recovering your password and having a lot of support if something goes wrong with, with your account, 
doesn't really exist with blockchain. So when you create this account, make sure you write down all of the information that you need. Make sure that you save your password, you have the email that you have set up, you write down everything okay, on a piece of paper and, and keep it somewhere safe because this is the only way that you'll be able to access that again. And if you lose it, that's no one's fault but your own and you'll find that it is impossible to recover. So that's just a little bit of warning, but head across and create a blockchain wallet um, because even if you don't use it as your primary exchange and wallet, it's great to have a second wallet sitting there just in case you would like to move money and blockchain is a really good example for that. Next, I'm just going to briefly touch on CoinJar. This is what I was uh, in a moment ago, and this is the Australian Wallet and Exchange. So if you are Australian, I highly recommend this because it is, you know, basically just completely is based on Australian dollars. Now, these are Zappo and Uphold and Coinbase are all sort of more international businesses and what you can find here is you can actually come um, to some of their sort of abouts and frequently asked questions and you can find out uh, let me see if I can see any of it um, let's go to frequently asked questions for Zappo and let's go um, approved countries here we go I was looking at this before and then you can see, okay, so this is just on the debit card that they have. Um, but let's just have a look at what countries can be approved. Okay, so you can come down here and you can see, you know, is my country in this list? And if it is, then you can use the business. All right. So this is, again, this is what I'm saying is, you know, different ones will be different. You know, <clears throat> last count on my, one of my teams, I had about 65 countries in my team, guys. So I, I just can't give a, a blanket statement to use this one because I know I'm talking to people from all around the world. And um, and what that means is that you, you'll have to just do a little bit of research yourself into what – I'll leave some guidelines below, but into what exchange is going to suit your local currency. So Uphold, again, um, you can see, the, you know, very similar, okay, basically – you know, low cost, transparent, global, and you, you basically create this account um, with Uphold, again, sign up, and you, know, you can send and receive money, and Coinbase. Now, I don't want to um, say anything that, you know, isn't factually correct here, because I don't have accounts with these, but I am going to make a video, and we're going to sign up with Zappo, and we're going to go through the whole process of buying some Bitcoin. However, these three I have on good advice that when you join these, you should be able to actually buy Bitcoins with your credit card. So come on here, join it, um, create, if I go back, sorry. So, you know, come here, sign up, and then once inside, you can actually use your credit card to buy Bitcoins, and then they, they will be in your wallet, okay? So you can see this Zappo, Uphold, and Coinbase are wallets and exchanges, all right? So you create your account, and then you can see Coinbase, you know, to buy and sell Bitcoins, plus you can also use, you'll have a wallet, and you can send Bitcoins around. Now, blockchain, for instance, is only a wallet, in my mind anyway. I know they have just opened it up to the UK, and now they're exchanging. You can actually buy Bitcoins from the UK in blockchain, and, and you know, things change. I don't know, <clears throat> but I'm using this just as a wallet. So, you know, this video is dragging out a little bit, but I just, I know that it can be a little bit confusing when you're starting with Bitcoin. So what I want to recommend is that you go to these three sites and you just basically pick one, okay? They're very popular. Every one of these sites, very popular. Um, they all work. They've all come, you know, with, with high recommendations. So it doesn't matter really which one you choose. As long as it works for your local currency, then it's going to work for you. Okay, so that's it for this video and beneath this video you'll see some how-to instructions on actually setting up a Bitcoin wallet. Um, so you can follow that, but just like I've sort of mentioned many times now, make sure that it's going to work for your local currency. There's a couple of suggestions in this video, so just make sure it's going to work for your local currency and create the account with that. 
And then, you know, whatever is on that platform, just follow the steps to actually purchase Bitcoins using your credit card or your bank account because that will get the Bitcoins in your wallet and then you can move on to the next video uh, where we'll actually send and receive some Bitcoins in and I'll just show you how that works.